Imagine a world where the skies darken, not with clouds but with swarms of locusts. This is the vivid imagery the prophet Joel uses to describe the day of the Lord, a time when no nation will escape God's judgment. But what does this mean for us today? Joel stands out among the prophets for his unique approach. Without pinpointing his era, he speaks to a post-exilic Israel, referencing Jerusalem and the temple, yet not a kingdom. His writings are steeped in the scriptures, echoing the voices of Isaiah, Amos, and others. Unlike his prophetic peers, Joel doesn't list Israel's sins. He assumes we're well-versed in their history of rebellion. Joel's message is timeless, transcending his own era and speaking to the universal truths of human nature and divine justice. In the opening chapters, Joel presents two parallel poems about the day of the Lord. The first recalls a locust plague that ravaged Israel, reminiscent of the plagues against Egypt. It's a past disaster that serves as a forewarning of what's to come. The second poem shifts to a future day of the Lord, painting a picture of an impending calamity for Jerusalem. What starts as a locust invasion morphs into a military onslaught, complete with cosmic disturbances. Joel's message is clear. The day of the Lord is dreadful. Who can endure it? Yet in the midst of impending doom, Joel calls for repentance. He urges a heartfelt return to God, not just outward displays of sorrow. He reminds us of God's character, gracious, compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love. This is the God who forgave Israel for the golden calf, and this is the God who offers hope even in the darkest times. Joel leads the community in prayer, pleading for God to spare his people. The narrative takes a hopeful turn as God responds to repentance with compassion, promising to reverse the devastation and restore abundance. Joel's vision expands to a future where God's Spirit fills not just the temple, but all people. He draws from the rich tapestry of prophetic promises, foreseeing a time when God will confront oppressive nations, renew creation, and establish His presence among all people. Joel's message culminates in a vision of hope, a renewed world where God's justice prevails and His mercy brings restoration. In conclusion, Joel's prophetic poems serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of collective sin and the power of genuine repentance. They offer a glimpse into a future where, despite the storm of judgment, hope for renewal and divine presence remains unshaken.